Good morning. Oh, it has been a day. I'm trying to look at my rearview mirror, making sure everything is good. I don't know. I gotta cut where my nose is, and it really does hurt. I am gonna be late. I had to drop my car out this morning, but I wanted to take a shower. Um, I know it's like uh, get up earlier. Oh, that sleep was so good. I didn't get off until like 11:30 last night. So almost 11:30. I'm not even gonna make it say it's 11:30. It's like 11:21 when I was walking out. And um, you know that hairstyle came out super cute. Oh, I didn't even take a picture of it. Uh, so tired, didn't even think to, but it was like crochet. And she had the braids on the side exposed, and so it was like, it was real cute. Uh, it was cut. Um, I think I cut about four, maybe about six inches off of it. Layered it really nicely, moosed it down really good, and uh, put some leave-in conditioner on it to kind of give it, you know, more of a, a heavy, um, polished look because it's very light and airy which makes it big and fluffy um, so if you just put mousse on it sometimes it can be a little stiff um, and I did use non-alcoholic mousse but I did want to kind of soften it some so I put some um, leave-in conditioner in it and I think it came out really nice so yay <laughs> Um, so this morning I didn't even get a chance to make anything for breakfast or anything like that. I'm going to eat. I have apples and a protein bar and a couple of bottles of water at work. I do have about three protein shakes, uh, another protein bar. Um, so I'm going to make it do what it do today. I supposed to get off around 530. So I'm really going to try to focus on getting my water in today. Drink all the bottles of water that's in my refrigerator. Um, and you know, my I, I got a couple protein shakes, so I'm gonna just try to thug it out today with that. And when I get come home, I'm probably gonna make me some shrimp and fish, um, like one piece of fish with maybe about six to eight shrimp, and um, some type of vegetable. Uh, thinking asparagus or Brussels sprouts so that's what I'm going to do when I get off plus I'm gonna just really clean up very thoroughly and um I keep saying and I'm um, sorry so I'm gonna clean up thoroughly vacuum wipe down the surfaces because my lovely husband has not uh taking down the mantle that he put up that needs to be redone over so that it can be sanded and painted. But we not gonna go there because <laughs> we having a good day. It's a positive day. You know, we're not gonna dwell on the fact that I don't know how much it's gonna cost me to get my car fixed, uh, that I'm running late for that. You know, we're not gonna dwell on those things. We're gonna stay positive. We're gonna stay upbeat <laughs> and it take a lot, but I'm gonna try my best. Um, but you know, I, I, I claim today to be a good day. You know, I'm claiming it. These are some beautiful apartments. I thought it was going to be like a senior thing, but I think they realized the money in it, and they're just going to make it regular apartments, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> But I just... I did have a candy bar last night when I got in the bed. That's my weakness. It'd be 220 calories, which I already be messed up. So, I bought some Tootsie Rolls. Oh my God, this freaking hawk is trying to eat this uh, decomposed animal that's in the street. I don't know if it's, I think it's a hawk or something. You know, they eat decomposed you know, meat and stuff. But the fact that he's the the uh, bird on the other side of the street, so he keep running to the to the street, the middle of the street, which there's no cars that's there. But as soon as he see a car, he's smart enough to jump out of the way. So he peck and then jump out of the way, peck, jump out of the way. It, it's just it's cute. Um, oh, 
crossing my fingers that traffic don't look like it did yesterday at 7.40. Just said I'm going to be really late for this appointment. I'm trying. I don't have to be work till 8. Oh, my God. But, um. I need to go see what they're talking about and then move things along. Traffic don't look too, too bad, but it looks can be deceiving. Every single morning looks can be deceiving. So you really got to be um, just aware of uh, how everything is going. Oh, man. This dude right here that's in this... Uh, Maybe they're going to the same place. Because maybe the police behind him waiting for him to make a move. Nah. He actually probably is just following him. Oh, I don't know. Cause it's enough. Oh, my God. It was that many cars. Usually, this light is good about getting all the car cars through in one, you know, one light. So, um, yeah, I took my meds this morning. You know, my vitamins, all that good stuff. And I don't even know. I tried to drink enough water with it because you could have like a little upset stomach. But these, that lemon juice really did a good job of not turning my uh, apples brown. So I'm really good about that. Mm. Ooh. And it's got a, a sour taste out this world because of the lemon juice. I put a whole lemon on it too. A whole lemon. But um I'm feeling so good, you know, because of everything that's going on with me uh, just getting more water and just, you know, getting more water in. And uh, I've hit the 25 pound loss of work. So I'm very uh, excited about that. I wish I would have started this in. 234 and then lost 25 pounds <laughs> but I started at 252 I'm now at 227 and um, I'm looking forward to just you know doing more you know I don't want to stop I don't want to stop I don't want to give up so it's so many things that I think people have to think about and deal with day in and day out and one of them is just knowing you know when to push forward and when to hold back uh, because sometimes moving too quickly too soon can really be detrimental to your your future so you have to really you know case it and um dissect what it means um to 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 keep walking forward and, and instead of standing still in in the moment because you don't want to do something prematurely that's why you have to pray that god just you have to pray i'm not gonna lie or you have and if you're not religious if you don't want to pray you have to really dissect what's going on what's going on around you you have to think ahead and see you know what moves you should be making because in my case you know I want to own my own salon I want to own my own salon suites in my hometown and it costs money like money money not no couple of thousand not no hundred thousand it costs about a million half a million to a million dollars to get that off the ground and you know some people they can go out and get a loan for it 
I would have to get investors and I wouldn't mind getting investors you know I want that because I feel like that's where the future is of um, micro suites and people can you know be in a smaller set and have their dream of being a salon owner in a smaller venue not just this mass thing now for me I'm outgrowing the suite and I don't mean it in like I'm busting out I mean the I need to be able to uh, move, be in charge of all the moving parts like the cleaning the the um, maintenance and the decor everything I want to be in control of that because I think that is a part of setting the tone and the you know it's a part of setting the culture of the salon and the culture in our salon suites is pretty much it's all black people working there or African Americans it's all African American um, very lax you know and I think I want it to be more luxe and exclusive and tailored to comfort and pampering. So it's going to take me transitioning from what I am now to going forward. And I know that I can do it. I know that I can. I know that when the time is right, I can get the capital needed for that business and um, be able to thrive in it because I'm only speaking positivity. But yeah, I feel like that I can do it. So that's what I'm going to do. So um, you guys, follow your dream. Live in the moment and think ahead at the same time. You got to multitask your life. You can't just be focused on one thing all the time. Sometimes you have to be in that moment then and then you have to move forward uh, and just release, release the tension, release the, the anger, the uncertainty. And that's going to allow you to see what matters and give you the ability to move forward and walk in your truth and your, your passion. Because when you're just standing around looking at other people become successful or do things that you said you always wanted to do. You have to think, why can't I get to that next level? Why can't I move forward? And a lot of times it's not because of it not working out. It's because of you, you're in your head. I'm in my head all the time. I'm not just saying this to you just to say it. I'm saying it to myself so I can hear it. And I can keep reminding myself. So that's where that comes from. But I believe in us. I know we can do it. It's all about just uh, staying true to yourself and forward so that's what I'm trying to do you guys and I'm and I'm looking at myself I got a long way to go but I'm just so so blessed and glad at where I've come from and it's gonna take a lot to get to the to, to my one of my first goals and it's okay I'm on my timeline I'm not on anybody else's timeline so here we are have a good day.